EVA, a tool for visualizing the evolution of a software system's architecture. As a software system continuously evolves, the high-level structure of the system also evolves. However, in practice, a system's architecture often decays over time, through the unintended or careless design decisions. This can cause technical debts, or decrease a system's maintainability. Therefore, understanding architectural changes during the course of a system's evolution is critical. To assist software engineers to intuitively understand an architecture's evolution, we present EVA, a tool for visualizing the evolution of a software system's architecture. EVA uses architecture recovery techniques to extract each version's architecture, and visualizes the architectures and the changes. EVA provides data, extracted from issue repository to help you reason why a given architectural change has been made. With EVA's visualization, you can first explore architecture evolution and architectural changes. Second, you can gauge impacts of a design decision that led to architectural changes. Lastly, you can assess the system's architectural stability. Let's take a look at the cool visualization of EVA. To visualize a system's architecture evolution, you need to provide a URL of the system issue repository, and choose an architecture recovery technique. You also need to upload the source code for the versions that you wish to visualize. You can add more versions by clicking the Add Release button. Once you upload every file to visualize, you can see the visualization of the system's architecture evolution by clicking the Visualize button. EVA visualizes each version's architecture with architectural components, each of which encapsulates a subset of the system's functionality or data, and code level entities that belong to each architectural component. In EVA's visualization, a small circle represents a code level entity, such as a method or a class, and a larger circle represents an architectural component. EVA visualizes a given system's architecture evolution with three types of view. This is a single release architecture view. You can understand the functionality of each architectural component, based on code level entities. EVA distinguishes different groups of code level entities, such as implementation packages, using color coding. This legend is explains the color for each package. The color of each circle is automatically assigned. Names of architectural components are displayed on top of each bigger circle. If you hover the pointer over a small circle, EVA displays the name of the code level entity. A code level entity is labeled with I, when one or more implementation issues has been resolved by changing the entity. When you hover above the I, EVA displays the detailed information of the issue, its tag, title, and the description. When an issue is tagged by EVA's pre-trained classifier, an asterisk is shown in the tag. If you click on different version names, EVA shows the architecture of each version. When you click on 3D architecture evolution, EVA visualizes the architectures of multiple versions in a single compositional view. The architecture of all versions is visualized as stacked layers. In this view, a code level entity that occurs across multiple versions can be traced by a line. When you hover the pointer over a code level entity, EVA displays the line. Then you can track the entity's changes with the line. If you click on the Architectural Changes tab, EVA highlights code level entities that have moved from one architectural component to another. If there are mapped issues when the code level entity is changing, you can infer the rationale behind the particular architectural change. If you want to focus on a certain version, you can enter the 3D architecture evolution view from the particular version's single release architecture view. If you click a pairwise comparison button, you can select two versions that you want to compare. After selecting two versions, you can click a compare button to see the pairwise comparison view. When you click Difference tab, you can compare the two versions' code level entities. A indicates that the code level entity has been added to the system in the latter version, and R indicates that the code level entity has been removed from the system from the former version. Minus represents that the code entity has been moved to another architectural component in the latter version, and it is linked to a latter version's code level entity circle, which is labeled with plus. Since EVA supports different recovery techniques, you can use multiple recovery techniques and view the system's architecture from multiple perspectives.